the day after you have thrown, or if you live somewhere warmer, possibly the evening time, you trim. What you, this is called trimming or turning. You take away the excess or support clay from the pot. Sometimes people will put foot ring or a fancy turning in at this point. I tend to like to throw really thinly, so I don't tend to have a lot of excess clay to do that kind of turning with. It's just a uh, just a personal preference thing. I like to throw thinly. I'm using the lines that are on the wheel to give me a rough guide to centering it and then I'm letting it run through my fingers so that I can feel if it's centered. You rarely get anything absolutely perfectly centered and if you're trying this at home and putting a little downward pressure on the edges of the base of the pot to hold it in place while I'm trimming. Don't tend to put pressure on the inside because that tends to be where it's thinnest. You don't want to go through the bottom of the pot. line I'm putting in is called a glazing line and it is as it sounds you standardly glaze to that line and then it hopefully catches any little bit of glaze that runs during a firing that way, save your cone shelves. Otherwise, you have to get out there with an angle grinder and take little bits of glaze off your cone shelves because pot will stick to it. These are probably a little bit on the wet side for trimming. catch them at just the right point, they can be trimmed really easily. And if you let them go too long, they can trim really hard if they're dry. But I want to go and get them done because I'm going to go and bake some muffins on my neighbours because it's Sunday and it seems like a nice thing to do on a Sunday. Pots will tend to dry out faster in nice weather and slower in wet weather or when it's a little chilly like it is here today. They're basically air drying like you're washing. shape a little while you're turning them over. Soft enough you can just pop them back into shape again.
can be very exact with your trimming and measure your base so that you get them exactly the same each time. But I tend to do it by eye unless it's absolutely necessary for something. definitely stackable bowls. Now they just need to dry out and then they'll get, when I get back into my workshop I'll get them back into a bisque a little, but they can't dry out stacked like that. <laughs> 